welcome back guys and today i am back with a new informative video which will tell you about what should you do in first 15 days when you arrive in germany so let's get started get to my pc and more or less six things i will tell you about what should you do in the first 15 days when you arrive in germany so let's go so as you know we will talk about what to do in the first 15 days after arriving in germany so starting with three things accommodation and cash so um so the prerequisite things or the pre things you should have with you when you are at your home when you are in your country so you should first book the accommodation from your country itself and you should have a lim uh, little amount of money with you when you are traveling from your home country to germany so for the accommodation uh, the thing is when you come here you should know where you will live right because if you come here then you plan then it will cost you more uh, like if you book an airbnb if you book a hotel if you book a hostel you don't know where is the hostel so and plus you don't have network here you don't have internet only on the airport itself you have the internet but then you are just um, without internet so you should uh, search for an accommodation if you are a student if you are coming to study here so you should uh, search for the accommodation which I have made the video before so you should the, you should search the accommodation and more or less like uh, I brought 600 euros with me but uh, 7 to 800 or maximum 1000 euros if you have it will be sufficient for or one one and a half months so you should have cash and you should have booked the accommodation first also if you want to book airbnb or if you want to book an hostel for some period of time before or uh, maybe let's say your contract is starting from first of june but you are reaching your um, in, uh, like 20th of May so for 10 days if you want to book Airbnb or if you want to book hostel you can do that but you should take care of the accommodation when you are in your hometown so the second thing is the contract with your landlord so the thing goes like this to start your contract you have to have the signed contract with uh, your original signed contract you cannot just write it in on pdf or virtual sign uh, it doesn't work like that so you have to have your signed contract so when you come here uh, when you reach at your destination at your apartment you have to go to the landlord or in case of the dorms you have to go to the registration office you have to go in there then they will uh, tell you where to sign you they will give you the contract and that contract is really important because that contract will help you for the, your city registration further so you have to have the signed contract with you then collection of the key they will give you the key which will open the door of your uh, apartment obviously so here the catch is make sure if you are coming on weekends here you should call you should email to the owner that i will be there my flight is on such and such date and i will be there on weekend so how will i get the key so sometimes what they do is they put it in a locker and they give you a password for the locker and you just uh, put the password and got the get the key in my case uh, that was the case because i came here on friday it was not weekend but they uh, were open to nine to five and i was here uh, around oh, 7 8 p.m. so in my case I contacted them they told me that uh, that they will put it in a locker and they will give me a password and I can uh, do that but I had a friend here so I just called her and she took uh, the key on behalf of me so you can also do that but make sure it's 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 really important that you contact your land uh, lord before you arriving here uh, mailbox so the thing is you get the post here you 
Germans are really uh, fond of posting rather than emailing you so you will get lots of posts everything will come by post so you should check your mailbox where I am living there is a number of house there is a number of then apartment and then room so when I uh, tell uh, the address of my apartment I tell that number for the mailbox but if there is no such things one mailbox is provided to you only then you should write your name on the mailbox itself then comes the university obviously you have to go to the university so uh, so in some cases it's like this nowadays uh, you have to have your enrollment on site so in my case uh, it was like they gave me the enrollment um, letter by email and they also posted it to me obviously and uh, it was fine but now you have to go to the university you have to go to their office uh, the main office where the old uh, administration work uh, handles uh, you have to go there and you have to ask for the enrollment uh, paper so you sh should sign the enrollment uh, paper and then they will give you a semester ticket which will be valid for your transport your uh, any kind of transport uh, whether it is bus whether it is train whether it is um, tram and also in Berlin ferry you can just easily uh, travel with your semester ticket so you should have your semester ticket with you to travel free then comes the city registration which is called Enmeldung here so you have to book uh, an appointment which is really easy you just um, type Berlin city registration they will show a portal and you just click there and you will be guided to the link and same to all oh, like wherever you are if you are in Munich you just uh, search for Munich uh, city registration or so then there you have to book an appointment for uh, city registration you will easily get an appointment that uh, it will not be that hard and that if uh, after booking the appointment what you have to take with you is your passport which uh, contains your visa and then contract uh, which you have signed because in the contract it will say that you are staying at particular place and all it also gives the address of the place so uh, you have to take passport and contract that's it and let's say if you want to move to another city so what uh, then you have to do then you have to do re-registration which is called ummeldung uh, in this case you don't have to uh, deregister yourself from here from your first city you just have to re-register in your new city then uh, they will automatically uh, deregister you from the previous city and re-register uh, register in the new city but what if you want to leave Germany for leaving Germany you have to do abmeldung that is the deregistration that you are not living here for anymore you are going to such and such uh, country so these are the um, registration process here in Germany moving ahead uh, Deutsche Bank so uh, for students especially uh, they need a blocked account you block your such amount in a blocked account and when you come here you have to defrace it so how you can do that so you just go to uh, Deutsche Bank it's a German bank you go to Deutsche Bank you take your contract you take your city registration and then you take your passport and your blocked account paper and just tell them that I want to open I want to defreeze my blocked account and they will do it it's it's that simple it will take time but uh, from your side this is the process uh, and also uh, in my case what happened was uh, I did my blocked account with um, Expectrio so what they did was they suggested me to go with an online bank which is called Moniz 
which they have a tie up with that bank uh, it is a london based bank mm, it's similar to n26 n26 is a german uh, online bank uh, so it is similar to that but it's london based so i i didn't go to in uh, in the hustle of opening a bank account in german bank account but uh, i went for the monies and they easily uh, unblocked my account uh, account and i got my money and it, it is working fine if you are going with expatria and if you have any doubts with uh, monies mm, if you want to go you can that's what i want to say it's not a big trouble um after that you have to have health insurance here no matter you are student you are working it doesn't matter but you have to have the health insurance either it can be public or private but i would suggest if you are a student go for public it costs more but uh, still it uh, it will give you benefit uh, in your part time jobs and mini jobs you won't uh, face any trouble with if you are public insurance so you can go with aok tk there is also movista so you can there are like lots of uh, health insurance you can find here in germany uh, personally i have tk but many of my friends also had aok so it's fine it doesn't matter uh, with which uh, company you are with but you have to have the health insurance here in germany uh so, so the, the last, last thing, thing i would say that get settled, settled. So, so for getting, getting settled, settled you need a sim you need utensils so this is the thing um uh, the utensils um, either it depends on your accommodation obviously uh, for me uh, i had an accommodation in student of slachtense so uh, they provide most of the stuff like basic stuff so uh, i wouldn't have bother uh, i didn't bother about my utensil part so it was a good option for me and for transport you should you can or you should use bvg or vbb app which tells you accurately uh, when is your bus when is your train all the connection and bvg is more uh, not, uh, both the apps are accurate but bvg also tells you about the cycle like you can take the cycle because you cannot take cycle in bus so if you have cycle you can just mm, filter it so it tells you that routes also so you can have any app also you can book uh, also you can purchase the ticket from the app online uh, so that is also a advantage of having an app with you and the advice i've well, I want to give you is that make some good friends because here in Germany you come alone and if you have good friends, uh, your life will become more easy here uh, because uh, when you come here at first there will be homesickness, there will be like lots of thoughts in your head, you don't know many things here, you, or you will be new here in a, a different country, different culture are meeting with different people having different mindset so uh, it's like uh, it will make your life so easy and yeah you can hang out there are like lots of places here in germany that you can hang out and if you have friends to accompany you it will be great i would say uh, so yeah that will be all for this video i hope you will get some information about what should you do after uh, in 15 days when you arrive in germany and if you have any type any sort of question any doubt you can just uh, head to me you can just gm me on my insta page or you can just uh, let me know in the comment section i will get back to you as soon as possible so if you like the video please uh, like it share it with your friends and family subscribe the channel and do not forget to uh, press the bell icon for more notification from my channel take care bye bye see you in the next video